0700 SCBA check. Spread the harness out on a flat surface. Inspect the cylinder for any cracks, damage, or signs of abnormal wear and tear. Inspect the harness for damage. Fully open the parachute shoulder straps and the waist buckle. Tag in. Every member was issued a personal identification tag. This tag should be attached to the red face piece storage bag. Tag in prior to pre pressurization of the unit. Press the green button on the pass device and hold until it says tag. Place the identification tag behind the device until it says OK. The user is now logged on to the unit for 25 hours or until another person tags in. Face piece negative pressure test. Connect the MMR to the face piece. Do not pressurize the system. Place face piece firmly against the face and slightly inhale. The face piece should remain in place for 10 seconds. Once complete, press the two gray buttons on the MMR to close the valve. Pressurize the system and check for the following five items. The audible low air alarm should sound. The pass device should light up. The LED buddy lights on the SCBA harness should light up. They should flash green, then flash red, and then flash green continuously. The air pressure gauges, the difference between the cylinder gauge and the digital pass device gauge should not exceed 10% or 450 PSI. Failure should result in this unit being placed out of service for repair. The HUD device should link up. Three green lights should show inside your HUD device if it's properly linked up. Inspect the pass device. Press and hold the green button. The lighted display should show numerical cylinder pressure, Image cylinder pressure, battery level, thermal indica indicator, and radio signal indicator. Pass device alarm. Allow the pass device alarm to sound. The alarm should sound if the unit is motionless for 20 seconds. The alarm consists of four distinct phases. There should be three pre-emergency phases and one emergency phase. During the three emergency phases, shaking of the pass device should reset the system. The fourth phase is the emergency phase. Once the unit reaches the emergency phase, Pass device should not be able to shake that alarm off. You have to manually reset that alarm by depressing the button on the side twice. Depress the manual emergency button. It must go straight to the emergency alarm and it may not be shaken off. It must be manually turned off by depressing the yellow button on the side twice. Universal RIT connections. Inspect both the URC or UAC on both the rear of the SCBA harness and on the pass device. The rubber cover should be able to remove completely with the pin intact. The URC opening should be free of debris and the URC should not leak air. If a small amount of air is leaking, it is possible to connect a transfill hose to the unit to reset the valve.
buddy breathing connection. Disconnect the buddy breathing connection and check for debris on both the male and female connection. To disconnect the buddy breathing connection, you must firmly grasp the collar, push it forward, and then pull back to remove. To reconnect the buddy breathing connection, it must be directly in line and straight and can be put in place by firmly pushing into position. Now make sure to check and make sure that, that connection is tight and will not fall off. Failure of this proper connection be, can be a catastrophic and can be catastrophic and requires units to be placed out of service for repair. Inspect. Inspect the relief valve on the first stage regulator. It should be free of debris and easily twist. If it is froze or clogged, it could se severely affect the valve's ability to release excess air in the event of a first stage failure. The bypass valve. Turn off the air supply to the cylinder. Twist the bypass valve to ensure that air is released. Only release a portion of remaining air leaving some to test low air alarm. Place face piece in position and slowly breathe down remaining air in the low pressure line. The low pressure alarm should sound at around 1,000 to 50 psi and continue until remaining air in the line is expelled. Failure of the low pressure alarm to sound at 1,000 to 50 psi should result in this unit being placed out of service for repair. Breathe down the air slowly and monitor your HUD device. should go from three green to two green to two yellow and it should turn red at the same time your low pressure alarm sounds. That is the completion of the 0700 SCBA check.